all out there. Welcome to Get Cooking with Paula Dean. It's the holiday season, and I am fixing to share a fabulous recipe with y'all. Oh, I got my Aunt Peggy here, and we're having a wonderful time today in the kitchen. Now, Aunt Peggy usually makes a sweet potato souffle, but I've got a little something different for it in mind with this dish. We're going to be making sweet potato balls. All right, well, what I'm gonna need from you, Aunt Peggy, uh, I overbaked the potatoes because I love to cook them the way Grandma used to cook them. I'll take these, let them get cold. I'll actually put them in my refrigerator. I'll slice them, I'll sprinkle them with sugar and fry them up in my cast iron skillet and there's nothing better than a fried sweet potato. But if you'll get started now, most full potatoes for me, uh, we're gonna, Put a lot of flavors into these balls. I'm taking the skin off of these potatoes and uh, getting them ready to mix it with the other ingredients. Mmm, it's so delicious. All right, is that full potatoes? We need one more. Okay, well let's get one more done. And um, I can do this one or two ways. I can do it by hand with a potato masher, or I can do it with an electric mixer, a little handheld mixer. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, you think that's enough? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna start by adding to my four potatoes, I'm gonna start out adding two thirds a cup of brown sugar. Now, while I'm measuring this out, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of fresh brown cinnamon. And um, if y'all have never used fresh nutmeg, do it. It's so easy. They come in uh, little jars at your grocery store in the spice department and it's just a little nut. And I'm just going to need about a half a teaspoon of this, y'all, because remember nutmeg is one of those spices that's really strong. We're going to need one teaspoon of orange zest. Oh, y'all! You said it! Did you get that? <laughs> I get so tickled at my Aunt Peggy, y'all. Because she has the hardest time saying zest. It comes out jest. And she said it's a right. clown. She <laughs> took the fun. <laughs> she, you took the fun out of that. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna need about a teaspoon of orange zest. So just that simple, we've got our ingredients together. Baked sweet potatoes, brown sugar, nutmeg, orange zest, and orange juice. So just a couple of couple of tablespoons and we can kind of eyeball that. Now I'm going to share with y'all a little trick that is not a part of the recipe. I have found that sometimes uh, my sweet potatoes are so wet that they need a little something to help bind them together. So I actually put a couple of tablespoons of flour into this and that helps me to mold them because there's a surprise in the center of these sweet potato balls, y'all. Wait. Big fat marshmallow. In goes my flour. Why don't you go around there and get our mixer plugged in, Aunt Peggy? Okay. All right. So if you'll just whip that up, watch out. These look good. They look nice and thick. All right. Now there's one thing that I want to warn y'all about: your sweet potato balls. You have to be careful and not overcook them because your balls will burst. And you know, there's nothing worse than busted balls. All right, so our sweet potatoes are ready. Now what I'm gonna do at this point, y'all, is mix together some coconut, a little cinnamon. All right, now I'm gonna add a half a cup of sugar, and we're gonna roll our balls in the coconut and cinnamon mixture. Now, we've got a prepared cookie sheet. We've got some parchment paper on it so our balls won't stick. And we've got our big marshmallows. So what we're gonna do is just take out a scoop. You can make your balls as big as you want to. I kinda like like a medium ball. And I'm just gonna enclose that marshmallow with my sweet potato stuff. All right, now into the coconut they go. Just gonna kinda press them in it. And it's so good. What do you want? I want to try one. 
I want, to I want you to. We're going to put these in our oven at 350 degrees, y'all. And we're going to cook it for 15 or 20 minutes. Like I said, this is one of those uh, recipes that you'll want to keep an eye on. All right, in the oven, okay. 350. Top. Yes. And these are going to be just beautiful on our Christmas table. Now, Aunt Peggy and I have removed our sweet potato balls from the oven, y'all. I want you to get in here and look so I can show you what happens if you overcook them. See, that marshmallow got so big that that burst it. This one turned out perfect. But you know what? Even bursting. Those are beautiful and interesting looking. So if your balls burst, don't worry about it. All right, I want you to dig in, sinful.